Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. We make this series about different types of inspirational stories. This is our 11th story, The White Elephant. Once upon a time, there lived a herd of 80,000 elephants at the bottom of the majestic Himalayas. Their leader was a magnificent and rare white elephant who was an extremely kind heart and soul. He greatly loved his mother, who had grown blind and feeble and could not look out for herself. Each day, this white elephant would go deep into the forest in search of food. He would look for the best of wild fruit to send to his mother. But alas, his mother never received any. This was because his messengers would always eat them up themselves. Each night, when he returned home, he would be surprised to hear that his mother had been starving all day. He was absolutely disgusted with his heart. Then one day, he decided to leave them all behind and disappeared in the middle of the night along with his dear mother. He took her to Mount Candorana to live in a cave beside a beautiful lake that was covered by gorgeous pink lotuses. It so happened that one day, when the white elephant was feeding, he heard loud cries. A forester from Benaras had lost his way in the forest and was absolutely terrified. He had come to the area to visit relatives and could not find his way out. On seeing this big white elephant, he was even more terrified and ran as fast as he could. The elephant followed him and told him not to be afraid, as all he wanted to do was to help him. He asked the forester why he was crying so bitterly. The forester replied that he was crying because he had been roaming the forest for the past seven days. and could not find his way out. The elephant told him not to worry as he knew every inch of this forest and could take him to safety. He then lifted him onto his back and carried him to the edge of the forest. From where the forester went on his merry way back to Benaras. On reaching the city, he heard that King Brahmadatta's personal elephant had just died, and the king was looking for a new elephant. His heralds were roaming the city, announcing that any man who had seen or heard of an elephant fit for a king should come forward with the information. The forester was very excited and immediately went up to the king and told him about the white elephant that he had seen on Mount Candorena. He told him that he had marked the way and would require the help of the elephant trainers in order to catch this fantastic white elephant. The king was quite pleased with the information and immediately dispatched a number of soldiers and elephant trainers along with the forester. After traveling for many days, the group reached the lake besides 
whose daily fans resided. He slowly moved down to the edge of the lake and hide behind the bushes. The white elephant was collecting lotus shoots for his mother's meal and could sense the presence of humans. When he looked up, he spotted the forester and realized that it was he who had led the king's men to him. He was very upset at the ingratitude but decided that if he put up a struggle, many of the men would be killed and he was just too kind to hurt anyone. So he decided to go along with them to Benaras and then request the benevolent king to be set free. That night, when the white elephant did not return home, his mother was very worried. She had heard all the commotion outside and had guessed that the king's men had taken away her son. She was scared that the king would ride him into battle and her son would definitely be killed. She was also worried that there would be no one to look after her or even feed her as she could not see. She just lay down and cried bitterly. Meanwhile, her son was led into the beautiful city of Benaras, where he was given a grand reception. The whole city was decorated and his own stable was gaily painted and covered with garlands of fragrant flowers. The trainers laid out a feast for the new estate elephant who refused to touch a morsel. He did not respond to any kind of stimuli, be it the fragrant flowers or the beautiful and comfortable stable. He just sat there looking completely despondent. The orange trainers went straight to report the situation to their king as they were scared that the elephant would just waste away without any food or water. The king was extremely concerned when he heard what they had to say and went to the stable himself. He offered the elephant food from the royal table and asked him why he grieved in this manner. He thought that the elephant should be proud and honored that he was chosen as the state elephant and would get the opportunity to serve his king. So that's the ending of our today's story. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching this.